And apparently the Benny Hill theme song is bloody copyrighted. Well, hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends, welcome back to the channel. And today we are back once again to the beautiful world of Bohemia in, of course, as always, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, last time I had the idea of using the Benny Hill theme for my shopping spree at the beginning of the episode, but apparently that didn't sit well with YouTube and I was forced to mute that part of the video, but that's okay because, well, I don't know, but here we are. So, if you remember, last time we were looking into the murder of old limping Lugosh and if I'm able to open so yeah, we can either find more about him, or go and talk to the priest. Now, since it's night time, I doubt the Did priest you? What do you need? will be awake to receive us. Another thing about me, boss. I don't know if we can learn anything else from these people. Like, I gotta say, there's a lot of people that decided to show up to his house, looking completely uninvited. Oh. Hello. Good evening. Okay, good evening to you. Can you tell me anything? I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask away. All right, so... Oh. Who okay, was so apparently there's still... Murdered? He was a drunkard and a beast. And lazy too. Idle hands are the devil's tools. Okay... Also, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird today, I'm a bit under the weather, as always. And I have an urgent need to constantly sneeze. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was So... What do I care about that scoundrel? I was glad he stayed out of my way. Yeah, okay. Do you know who Lubosch used to spend time with? Kin or friends? He was always a loner. Except lately, he started talking to the parish priest of all people. Yeah, so that's all. Thank you. We really need to go to the priest. I feel quite hungry. Oh come on! It's just a little bit peckish. Nothing much. Don't, don't play the fool, Henry. It's just a little bit peckish. Let's go. She only started not long ago, always in the evening, while there's still a bit of light. She sits down and gets on with it, and she's quite deft at it by now. I'm not surprised. Betty was always good with her hands. You're right there. Anyway, I showed a couple of pieces she made last time to old Tonda, from Tabor, the one I buy goods from. And he said right away he'll take them. And how much do I want for them? Well, now. I was surprised myself. But I wasn't sure Betty would even want to sell them. So I asked for a high price. And he said, that's fine. And started counting out the coin there and then. Just like that? What I heard about him, he's a right skin flint. And what did Betty have to say? She was well pleased, as you can imagine. Even more when I told her Tonda will take everything she needs. That's great. A bit of extra coin never hurts. Judge me if you must, but to be honest, the first lines of dialogue on that conversation seem to indicate that it would go a rather exquisite way. Now, I want to try something, now that the bailiff is out of there. Because you didn't saw this, because I deliberately cut it out of the video, but there was a chest here that I wanted to check. And now that everyone seems to be out of commission, I wonder if I can try it. It's, an e it's a rather easy chest, so... I'll have no problems with it. Okay. No one saw it. Okay. Oh, it doesn't have much. Okay, I can steal it to sell it. But not for much more, so... Alright. Oh, I'm overloaded already? Jesus Christ. Okay. 
No matter, Pebbles. Pebbles, my dear boy, you'll get something on you soon enough. Alright. I am set. I also have two more books to read. I wonder if you guys want to see that in the video. I'm, I'm sure it's not the most impressive thing to be doing on camera, but I was thinking that maybe a video, you know, wholly dedicated to, you know, the skill of reading. Jesus Christ. I've been thinking of doing sort of montage videos dedicated to some of the skills. Combat, herbalism, the reading. You know, just funny small videos, not 30 hour long ones. Be rest assured. Like it's nothing it's nothing on that scale. So it's just some little bits of fun that I thought of making. Oh, it's open, okay, so I might be able to... Okay, this one's open as well. Oh yeah, but the priest is asleep, so there's really no point. There's really no point in me being here and talking with him if he's... Okay, I can't see anything. Ah, alright. He probably doesn't have anything. He has more skins, but the skins aren't worth all that much. I'm not gonna steal from the priest. Oh! Godwin's concubine. Oh! Oh, well, that... that is interesting. Here's a book. A little bit of things. Ah! Ooh! Okay, you know what? I'll steal this. I'll read it, because I'm not exactly trespassing, which is fun. I'll read it and then I'll put it back. Alright, so where is it? Alright, Tavern Life 3. I'm assuming there's a 1 and 2, but... I'm, I'm jumping the gun straight off. Alright, Tavern Life. On Wednesday, I'm in the tavern in the Glade. On Thursday, I'm in the tavern in the Glade. Quite... Quite enthusiastic. You haven't reached the skill level needed to be able to use this book. Oh! Oh, okay. So, there's actually skill level. Necessary. A skill book on... Ah, this is a skill book. Ooh. Oh, no, that is interesting. That is very interesting. So, if I use this, can I... No, I, I can read it. But I can't study it because apparently... Okay. Ah, so it's a skill book. That is interesting. Okay. I'm just gonna do this one. An old Czech satirical poem about an argument between a scholar and a groom over who has it better in life. Oh, this is bound to be funny. Alright. The groom to the scholar. Scholar, you wretched fellow. How can you so boldly bellow? You, with no coin to your name. Uh, what? Gaunt and afraid of the cane, trudging through this world in squalor, ever burdened by your labour. However you may toil and sweat, no better garments shall you get. To go in rags is a pupil's lot, a bed to lie on you have not. Now you lie by the hearth at night, but in winter you'll have to flight to warm your bones by the fireside near. For they'll drive you out without a cray, cree, without an acre, no, not without an acre, no. There's a little bit of 
a clipping issue there, but never mind. You'd be blessed to sleep on the floor at least, not left to lie on the herd like a beast, shivering on the frozen ground with shattering feet and frost all round. And still you'll have no end to shores, lightening the stove and sweeping floors. You work, your work may never be forgot, although you cannot sleep a lot. No, not a lot, a jot. When on the, when on the clod, the cold hard ground, you lay, oops. Alright, I'm better off, I proudly say. My bed of straw is like paradise where at night I peaceful lie like a bird in a feathered nest of spruce. Though at times I lie in dung, God's true, but still I suffer little pain. Save when I'm soaked by rain, I must wait until dawn and my clothing dries. I, and I wipe it clean as soon as I rise, so the cloth is clean and bright next day. Mark my words, one thing I'll say, the peasants fear me to a man. Wherever I walk or stand, all bow their heads before me low. Welcome, master, they greet me so. Even the farmer steps aside and the chickens can hardly run and hide. I'm glad for that, for they will let me hide in my... P -p -p until I take them with me to a feast, plucked and cooked in their own grease. One thing I'll say, since you entreat me, I have no fear my lord will beat me. Okay, this is a longer one. The scholar to the groom, you are but a rag from the stable. How oft have you... Uh, doof on your table? Ah, how oft have you food on your table? Sell the Okay. You are as a weed, no better than a peasant indeed. Mucking out dung every day, no better thing comes your way. With a scholar you cannot compare, whose respect no whose prospects are better than fair. Unlike you, you rebel nun, and learned, God willing, one day I'll have earned the bishop's mitre and crozier. For I lay, for I labor to make my life rosier. Unless fortune should prove contrary, I will soon go to the famed seminary, in pursuit of my true aspiration, to gain my first. Something, the clipping issue, uh, okay. And who would there to spite me when I'm high and mighty, in golden robes of fabric grand, a priest or prelate of the land? While I shall preach from the pulpit, you will stand like a guilty culprit, in your stinking rags at your prayer, shrinking under my glare. You wretched bearer of ill will, put aside your conceit and be still. Save your quarrels and your... Cruise? Man's worth is not in tear in their purses. Be wise and heed my advice if you wish for a long, happy life. Abandon your stable and your rabble. Who won? Who's next? You decide. Yeah, no, this. I think this is the best equivalent of a medieval rap battle. Okay, so what time is it? It's still night time. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until tomorrow, 8 a.m. I'm gonna sit here, and I'm gonna wait. I'll probably get hungry, but I can eat from the pot. It's not exactly restful, but I'm sure I'll be okay. All right. All right, get up. Ooh. Yeah, there's a bit of a clipping issue there, but I guess you can take out the torch, Henry. There we go. And can I eat from the pot? Eat from the pot. Yeah. All right. Is there anyone here? No, there isn't anyone here. So close the door. I promise you, I tried to be a good guy, but... 
It's hard when temptation grabs hold of me, you know. I just feel tempted. These lockpicks are a test. And I am inclined to take it. Beggar's tunic, okay, so nothing exceptionally... Nothing exceptionally profitable, I think. Yeah, in terms of price, not really. And they'll decay pretty soon. So, okay. Let's go see the priest. Ooh. Well, I appreciate a priest who can defend himself. Good morning, sir. Father Godwin. Ha! Talk to me. You know how to wield a sword. I see you know how to wield a sword, Father. I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. Yeah, me stick. neither. I practice with a stick. A reminder of my youth and days gone by. And it helps keep me in good form. Okay, but you you do have two beautiful swords back at York Waters, so... Uh, let me tell you, if I, if I could, you would only have one. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lyper, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosch? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Well... I well, did know Lugash. Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubos don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know what Lubos was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And <laughs> I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. Oh, come but on. I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. Oh, come one on. One of those is the sanctity of the confessional. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances. And this is one of them. People were killed. Yeah, people were killed. For heaven's sake, Father, can you really look me in the eye and tell me that when you know you may be condemning innocent people to death? I can, because if I broke that vow, the consequences would be much worse than if I didn't. Maybe not immediately, but one day. The mills of God grind slowly. Oh, come on. Father, Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhof Raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening. In the tavern. Over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Thank you, Father. God be with you. Well, I guess that's better than nothing, Jesus. All right. Do you have any work for me yet Do while we wait? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. Another pair of shoulders would ease my burden. I have to deal with a local witch. A witch? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag who will stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Oh, don't tell me. The cows are giving blood instead of milk, and babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil. She just has peculiar ideas about what's good for people. A little bird told me she incited some Ujets women to witchery. Ooh. A little bird told you. A little bird told you, did it? You know how good people are at seeing the splinter in another's eye and not the beam in their own. In other words, someone's been gossiping. Yeah. What's the problem? As long as herb women stick to giving psychic to folk and bloated cows, assisting in childbirth or burning incense in bedrooms to help with sleep, then nothing at all. But this, this is sacrilege, and it's unsafe. 
All sorts of molds and lichens and poisonous plants and other foul things go into those concoctions. I'd hate to see her poison some poor gullible lass. Hmm. What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church, so tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witchcraft. If you learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, find out all you can and deal with it. Hmm. Okay, I will help, but, Good. uh, hmm. Never fear. I'm a man who always pays his debts. You'll find Gertrude, the old herb woman in the woods. Good luck to you. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Where is that lady? Oh, here you are. Good morning. Good morning. Tell me. Um, you live here? Of course. I mean here. In the presbytery. Yeah, right here. She's called in Godwin's concubine. With what do you presbytery. think, Henry? Yes. What's the matter? Don't you like me? Um, yes, of course I like you. So why are you surprised Godwin likes me too? I'm not. I mean, I see... <laughs> oh, Henry, you're a um, hit with the ladies. <laughs> okay, that led nowhere. I thought maybe she could help us. But alas, she could not. Let's find ourselves a witch. Pebbles, we must away. We have a witch to find. Alright. Let's go. I'm already imagining that this old woman is not, of course, a witch at all. She's just gonna be someone who likes to experiment with herbs and things. And she actually is trying to do some good. That's what I imagine anyway. Oh, an interesting sight. Oh, I get lost on these things. Oh, okay. Some wine. Nothing much. Is there anything here? Is this... Is this a body? No, it's not a body, but it looks suspicious. Very suspicious. Oh, no, nothing, just... Alright, oh. Where did this cow come from? Oh. Alright. Witchcraft devils, I tell you. It's the witch in the woods. Okay, let me just see how far she... Okay, she's not that far. We can go there. Do something other than the main quest for once. Previs Lavitz Forest. I probably butchered that name and I am so sorry. But alas. I can barely speak English, let alone Czech or something. Alright. She's really deep in the woods. I mean, for a time when people could get attacked in the middle of the woods, I commend people coming out of their way for a supposed witch. But then again, people would do crazy things for crazy results. Alright. <sighs> Hello. Jesus Christ, your clothes! Were you assaulted? Damn bandits, may they burn in hell. Am I that bad? God. I come in the name of Sahanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. I ask you for Maybe she can help me with something. Ask all you want, lad. All right, let's Who go through this again. Those that live by the sword die by the sword. I'm not surprised the end he came to. Okay. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Everything about him was suspicious. I always gave him a wide berth. Okay, sounds fair. Let's see. You know see. what Nubosh was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? How would I know? Fair enough. Do you know who Nubosh used to spend time with? Kin or friends? 
I don't know, since I don't go to alehouse. All right, so you were about as helpful That's all. as a bloody you. priest. So, okay, I've come, come from, from the, the priest. priest. They're saying you incited some women to witchcraft. Me? Witchcraft? That's nothing but idle chatter. And I believe you, lady, but... Look, I mean you well. You'd be wise to give me a straight answer. I mean you no harm. As long as it's the truth you speak. It is. Very well. I'll tell you everything. Please. I've done a very foolish thing. It's preying on my mind so much I can't sleep a wink. But I'm supposed to believe an old witch. Has oh, shut up, you dingus. Laugh if you like, but it's not a word of a lie. You probably know I sell various magic lotions and potions alongside my herbs. Well, there's one I wish I hadn't sold. You see, Vera, Zlata, and Kuta from Ujits wanted a magic ointment from me. I kept refusing them, but in the end, I let them talk me into it. Okay. What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. A place of wonder and terror. The flowers might start talking to you. Or the earth could swallow you up. I don't know Some if of the it's good the work stuff. of the devil or of God himself. But the ointment has that power. But it could poison any person who doesn't know how to use it right. So all this talk of witches anointing themselves and then flying to their sabbaths on broomsticks. It's the just poppycock. But it was stupid of me letting those foolish women get their hands on it. They could poison themselves or fall off a cliff while they're lost in a dream. <laughs> Will you give me the recipe? Sure, let's try it. Will you give me the ointment recipe? It contains belladonna and the herb Paris, both quite poisonous plants. Okay. That ought to make you think twice about dabbling with it. So we know the recipe. Okay. So why did you give them the ointment at all? Because I'm soft-hearted. You see, one of those women, oh. Vera, lost her whole family in Scarlets. And Zlata's husband was killed. And the youngest of them, Peter, misled with the horror of it all. They said they wanted to use the ointment to speak with the dead and ask them to put a word in with the Lord. Yeah. I understand how they feel. But I reckon it'll get them nowhere but the ducking stool and the stake. Judge not, lest ye be judged. I didn't want to give them the ointment, but they offered me a pile of groschen. So I thought how desperate they must be, and I heard their plea. Their plea, or the clink of their coin? Both, kind of, but... And why are you so worried about them all of a sudden? What changed your mind? I'm losing sleep over it. Firstly, those women don't know what they're doing. And secondly, folk might see it as witchcraft. And do you know what they do to witches? They, they roast them. them. That they do. So don't be surprised, I'm worried. It didn't bother you before, though. Okay, less judgy. What did they want the ointment for? She Each told one me of that. them lost a loved one recently, and it's grieving them. They wanted to talk with the dead. Okay. What kind of ointment was it? One that will... I don't... So all this talk... The ointment... Okay, I just... I want to know something else. Okay, just to take out the option, just to see that one anything enough. else. If okay. Enough, you must understand why I need your help. Find mm. out from those women what they intend, and watch over them to keep them safe. All right. I am soft-hearted. I'll do it. I never believed the priest's talk anyway, so let's go. Very well. But only because the priest himself asked me to. Thank you a thousandfold. I'll go to the reverend myself and explain. You take care of those Yeah, women. you do that. Okay. Hmm. You do that. Meanwhile, I'll explore your place. 
see what I can find. Ah, this is the alchemy station. Ooh. Oh my. Like, Savia Schnapps. Nettle and Belladonna. But how? How do I exactly. Okay, read. Whoever drinks this potion shall, self, shall, shall self save his game and his soul, and though he should succumb to death, even shall he return to life. Prepare wine, two handfuls of belladonna and one of nettle. Boil the nettle for two turns. Grind the belladonna, drop in the belladonna and boil for one more turn. Okay. So, what? I need... This? Well, I don't think I have Belladonna, so... Okay, I should probably start the fire. Uh... Bleh, what? Yeah, I probably don't have anything that I can use for this. So, I mean, is she still here? Has she gone to the priest? No, she's still there, so I won't... I won't steal her stuff. For now. But I'll be back! Because I want to learn alchemy. So, let's go, Pebbles. We have three women to save. Dear boy. And we must do our best. But, this is gonna be it for now, me and Pebbles. We say our goodbyes to you near this lake thingy. This pond, not pond. This puddle of water. We'll stay, wash our paws, and we will continue next time in the amazing world of Bohemia. So, I will see you then, and bye-bye.